Hi! First of all, in this video I would like to thank all my viewers for watching my YouTube videos, subscribing to my channel and also liking my Facebook page. I was so happy to read all the comments and messages you sent me. Thank you very much. It means a lot to me. This lesson in, is inspired by the class I took, where we had to shoot with a big 4x5 flexi body camera. Why is it 4x5 camera? Because we used big, big sheets of film like this, 4x5 inches film. I don't know if you can see it, I put it to the light, how the film looks. But the main thing about that camera is that this camera has a flexi body and you can tilt, shift uh, the body and you can correct the distortions in your images. You can correct your horizontal and vertical lines. But I'm not going to show you how to work with that camera in this lesson. I'm going to show you how to correct your vertical and horizontal lines in post-production in Photoshop for the pictures you took with your digital camera. And why I decided to do it? Because one of my viewers sent me the picture before and after picture for the homework for my composition lesson where he cropped the picture of the building. But when he cropped the picture of the building there was still a problem with the picture because the vertical and horizontal lines were not corrected. They were not parallel and it looked a little bit weird. So let's take a look at my Facebook page and I will show you the picture I'm talking about and then we will go into Photoshop and I will show you how I corrected that picture. I hope it will be interesting for you. So let's get started. to me by one of my viewers, his name is Zapurba, thank you very much for sending the image. This is a before version. As you can see, you have some distortions and uh, the building is cricket. So this is uh, the after version of Apurba, made by Apurba. And uh, here it looks already better, but you still see that it's not quite aligned and the walls are not, lines are not parallel. So I decided to fix this image and this is my version of the image. As you can see, all lines are parallel and it's corrected for verticals and horizontals. So let me show you how I did it. Okay, I opened my image in Photoshop. And before I start working on it, let's take a look at the layer on which the image is on. Here is the layer and as you can see there is this little lock next to the layer. So to be able to work on that layer we should unlock that layer. So to unlock the layer we double click on it and we have a new window which is new layer and we can rename it or leave the name as it is. I'm gonna leave the name as it is and click OK and now we can see that lock disappeared. This means that we can work on this image now. So first of all, I would recommend you to set your guidelines, which you will follow to fix the distortion. To set the guidelines, just simply go to the top where the rulers are and just drag the guidelines down like this. And use, uh, I recommend you to set your guidelines along the lines. In this case, we have a horizontal lines. So we set one guideline here, one maybe here, one here, and one right here. We also can set the vertical highlights. As you can see this left side is pretty good so we need to fix our right side couple of highlights here along the windows and maybe two high guidelines here. See like this. Here we go. And before we start to stretch this image and fix the distortion, 
let's m make a little bit more of space for us so let's enlarge our canvas to enlarge the canvas you go to image canvas size and you can set your size so you set the bigger size since i have here 18 something inches i'm gonna set 21 inch and instead of uh, 28 i'm gonna set 31 inch so i just make my canvas bigger and click ok as you can see my canvas is bigger right now now you, i can start to fix the distortion and to fix the distortion we go to edit and go to transform and we use the tool named skew so edit transform skew click the skew and now we can see that we got this frame around the image and what this frame allows us to do is to stretch the corners of the frame any direction we want to so since our right and left side is pretty good so let's play with our right right side so i think we should drag this corner down all right we go down and as you can see we already aligned this horizontal line but now we have to align our verticals to align our verticals we might want to drag this in maybe a little bit up because we also want to follow the guidelines we set like this we go and you just play around till you get the result you want just play around look at the guidelines see if your vertical and horizontal are parallel to each other like that this looks already much better I'm not sure how this street on this image is supposed to be. I would assume that this street goes a little bit down. That's why we don't get exact alignment. I think like when you shoot your images, you should kind of remember how the scene looked for real. And then you fix your distortion based on what you remember. So I would assume that this street would just is a little bit crooked like that and we shouldn't align it exactly parallel so we should take care of the building first here we go i think it looks pretty good so let's take a look without our guidelines so first let's lock our distortion double click on the image we locked our distortion and now let's take a look without guidelines to remove the guidelines you can go to view show and just uncheck the guides when we uncheck the guides you can see that guides disappeared and we can just take one of them and just drag down and see to make sure that all our lines are parallel and align nicely i think that looks pretty good and let's do the same with our verticals see the windows look good yeah. Okay. Once again, it's because I dropped the guides, they appear again. All right. Now we have all this empty space around. Of course, we're going to crop it off. So take crop tool and just crop the space off. Let's see, like this, maybe like a little bit more, and double click when you're happy with your crop. But the only problem we have is this little area. I wanted to keep some of this white on top of the building, but and I did, that's why I didn't crop it off, but I could actually just crop this off, but I didn't. And we have this problem area, which is kind of not filled with anything. 
So what we can do, we can use another tool to fill this area out. So for that, we took our marquee tool. We can use a rectangular marquee tool. We just highlight this area and try to highlight as little of the area as possible. Don't highlight any extras, as little as possible, then it will work better. So you highlight it, then you go to edit, fill, and you choose over here content aware and click OK. And as you can see, computer filled this area for us. And you can see it did pretty good job, but not in all cases computer will do a good job because what the, the Photoshop actually does, it actually samples all areas around it and then it's guessing what's supposed to be instead of it. So in some situations is it might work and some situations might not, but it works always better when you choose a smaller area than the big one. And of course, if you have some crazy patterns, it's much more difficult for a computer to, for Photoshop to decide what exactly is supposed to be there. But as you can see in this situation, it worked pretty good. So let's take a look at our before and after image. This was our before and this is our after image. Let me show you one more example. As you can see, this building is totally distorted. So what we're going to do first, we're going to unlock the layer, double click. OK, so we unlock the layer. Now we can set our guides, maybe along the roof. One more here. Maybe one more right here somewhere. One guideline here. One right here. And maybe one here. So, but before we start to stretch this building, I think first we can rotate it to make it a little bit more straight. So to rotate this building, we go to edit and we can use free transform and you as you can see the we got the frame around the image and now we can go to the corner and you will see this pointing arrows up and down and we can rotate this image using this arrows just drag it with your mouse and now we rotate it a little bit this looks already somewhat better. See, we at least align the top edge on the building and the bottom. This looks already better. So let's lock our rotation, double click. Okay, we lock the rotation. Now we can go to our skew tool, edit, transform and skew. And let's start skewing around. Maybe drag this corner a little bit. In. And this looks already better. Let's try to align our vertical lines. Here we go. Somewhat more. We can also stretch this out. Yep. And you can see that the edges become parallel to our guidelines. Maybe here it needs a little bit more. So let's push it down. Yep. Almost there. Alright. Here we go. Till you are happy with what you've done. Some more. I think this looks pretty good, much better right now, so let's lock it.
And the reason why uh, we are getting this kind of distortion is because we use a wide angle lens and we are very close to the subject and wide angle lens has a tendency to distort things. And as you can see we have another problem right here. As you can see this line is not quite straight but it's kind of bended. What we can do about it? We can use another tool. And this tool is added transform and verb. So we're going to use the verb tool. What is the difference between the skew tool and the verb tool is that the skew tool lets you to drag corners only. But the verb tool you can also drag the middle part. So we can just push this a little bit down right here like this. And maybe this a little bit up and this a little bit down and as you can see the roof of the building becomes straighter see I mean it's all up to you how far you want to go and you, it's up to you you can follow the guidelines and see whichever looks better to you but I think this looks pretty good as you can see we have a line, nice alignment here maybe we push this a little bit in to fix this distortion okay and maybe right here here we go just to align this window nicely maybe it went a little bit too far I like it, so let's lock it. And this tool for some reason doesn't work when you double click on it, so you just choose some other tool from this palette and just click apply. Now we, let's take a look at our image without the guidelines. So this is view, show, and then check guide. All right, what a difference. Now we have to crop it. Crop tool. And let's crop. Let's crop till you're happy. Like this. Maybe like this. This is much. Here we go. Maybe like this. All right. And now we can try to use our content aware fill. So let's highlight this part. I am 100% positive this is going to be very easy to fix since we just have only white in there. So content aware, uh, fill. Let's try in here. I think that's gonna be easy too. So go to edit, fill, content aware, okay. And let's try on this part. Okay, go edit, fill. I'm content aware and see the computer actually messed something up right here it doesn't look that good so it wasn't the easy fix because we had a different patterns but let's try it a little bit different so let's undo it and let's try to take a smaller pieces like let's say let's take just the piece which we have here just the fence Edit, fill, content aware, and the fence looks good. Now let's try this piece. And file, uh, edit, fill, content aware, and this piece filled out good. And let's try this little piece right now. Let's see, this is the most difficult part because we have some patterns right there. Fill. And I guess this doesn't look that bad. 
So let's take a look at our before and after picture. So history. Let's see, this was a before, totally distorted building. And this is our after. I hope you learned something new today. And if you have any pictures which need to be corrected for vertical or horizontal lines, take them, correct them and put them on my Facebook page so we all can see and comment on them.